All right, Shalom. This is Hara Wan Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Ha'ar Ka Kodash, Ma Mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. It's going to be a quick lesson, man. I'm trying to make this fast. Um, dealing with this uh, Memorials Day celebration that everybody was into. Um, it was so demonic these past few days, man. You see, you see a lot of jakes. They um, they was out here partying bullshit, and you see a bunch of. Dudes. I was trying to get out of my apartments, um, just to drive out of my apartments. I couldn't because Jake was in the way, just blocking the road, daring, basically waiting for somebody to tell them to move so they could try to fight. You know what I mean? So this is a, 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 a wicked holiday, just like any other. It's a folly day, a man-made celebration, where they where they allegedly honor the uh, the soldiers that have died in these wars for America. Now, people, families, I get it, you know, they're going to honor who they honor. But to be honored going to war for a murderous country, you know, you can think about any war, Vietnam War, uh, War for Ind Battle of Independence, you know, the American War, the um, French War, the Spanish War, uh, <laughs> Civil War, <laughs> well, any any war you think of, uh, it's been all for the benefit of this um, gold, golden, um, adulterous place called America, and and we've always gotten the the low end of the stick. Right now, you say Vietnam. Then you had uh, what was that called, man? Um, shit, World War One, World War Two. Right. Um, what is that called? Uh, Desert Storm. All of those soldiers, man. <clears throat> they got a lot to say. A lot of them have been left homeless, a lot of them have been left without limbs, with sicknesses from the burn factories they have over there where they burn a lot of toxic stuff. Cancers, right, and lack of money, resources. So they honor the dead veterans, but they don't honor the living veterans. Make that make sense. All right, Haggai 1, and six, because I want to start with a few scriptures, just kind of build the mindset of the true memorial, which was left by Yahweh Shai, which was left by the, the um, apostles and prophets, and ultimately by Yahweh, the memorial. All right, the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did for us to die for us. Now. To die for this country is to what? To die in vain. Because all of their wars are vain. All of their purposes are vain. Look at all the all the robbing, stealing, killing, whatever that the U.S. has done around the world. Right? Um, and now look at it today. It's falling. All of that wealth is going down the drain. So what did they really fight for? They say freedom when we're not free. We're free to do the Father's will. That means to be able to read, walk around, and speak out in the open. <laughs> we don't have physical chains on us, but we're not free. Look at the lockdowns. That's not freedom. So what freedom did the, Amer the American army fight for? Freedom to dominate other nations? 
freedom to be wicked in this society as you see America is today through the entertainment industries and all that. Free to be sodomites. Well, look, man, I know growing up, all I've seen on the streets of Philadelphia and different places is in Florida, homeless veterans. You ask them what they're doing. I, I fought in the war, man. It just didn't help me out. And a lot of them came back on drugs and heroin, especially the Vietnam. So what's, what's to be memorialized? The atrocities, the murderous acts that they've done? The fact that they were foolish enough to fight for the for the uh, this demonic army. This is Haggai one and six. This is a uh, Haggai one and five. Now therefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts of the heavenly armies, consider your ways, man. The Lord told us to consider our ways and the choices that we make here. You're not supposed to go join in that damn uh, army. If you're a security guard or a policeman, you're supposed to still go out and teach. You're supposed to be like Cornelius, uh, the Israelite was in the scriptures. He believed in Yahweh Bashim, how was shy. He didn't overtax anybody, you know. Um, the Lord said, if you're gonna be a policeman, don't overtax any, or a taxman, don't overtax anybody. If you're gonna be a policeman, uh, don't do anything wicked to nobody. It's hard. It's hard to not overstep um, someone in this society if you're a policeman, because they got that blue line theory now. You got to protect their own, you know. And they and they they incentivize corruption. So you know, so it's not good to join this man's army, the, the government. You might work for the federal the, uh, the federal government and offices and things like that, longshoremen or whatever, but to join this man's army with the, and they have the control switch to, to the kill switch. Well, you're fighting for their intentions. You're fighting for uh, America making it um, an evil covetousness towards his house, through greed, through stealing. Haggai 1 and 6 Ye have sown much And bring in little See These people gave their lives and gave, shoot, um, A lot of these families have lost Their loved ones and A lot of uh, men And women have lost limbs Mainly men at that time But uh, Men and women Losing limbs and being sick for the price of what? So they've sown much, not just in the business sense, but as far as their physical body parts and in mind. A lot of them came back bugged out, be uh, schizophrenic, be crazy and shit, dementia. But ye are not filled with drink, right? Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink, man. They even go to these colleges. Some say they went to the military just to be in college but they didn't get what they were looking for but the elect have found it Romans 11 and 7 <laughs> ye clothe you but ye but there is none warm man see that so they try to put on these coverings of this world I'm gonna go and be a Baptist I'm gonna be a, a doctor I'm gonna be a um, what do you call that a soldier in America's army you know, I'm going to be a Christian. I'm going to be a Muslim. I'm going to be this, this, this. Whatever they can be. Everybody's taking on these different coverings. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm, man. Nobody's comforted, take care, taken care of. They're still naked. In, a sh in shame. The Lord said, you take all these coverings, but not of, of him. Let's, let's, let's get that real quick. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe 
woe to the rebellious children, man. See, two thirds of our people are rebellious. They're rebelling against the Lord. Because ultimately, uh, Esau's army, known as the dragon or the beast, stemming from the EU to NATO to America, they're ultimately going to fight against, try to fight against the angels of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Revelations chapter 12. It's going to be war in heaven. So, woe to the rebellious house, man. Say, if Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. See, that to go to the military and take counsel. I remember my dumb ass, I was like 16, 17. My family was trying to get rid of me because what I believed in, you know, um, I was getting called into the truth. And they just thought I was crazy. Yeah, we got to get rid of this dude, my sister and my brother. So they conspired against me and took me down to the uh, army, tried to get me to apply. And I applied, took the ASVAP or something, I think they call it. Anyway, I took one of those tests and I passed. The lot of you how about you, how shy, man. Um, that military soldier, he said, yo, look, you passed the test, but I can't sign you up because you got a tattoo on your neck. It was the Air Force. It was the Air Force. And he said, and I, I'm, I ain't even trying to, I'm not trying to fly no goddamn plane. I was trying to make them happy. I was young and stupid. I, I had a tattoo on my neck, which we're not supposed to get tattoos, but I didn't know I was young. If I could erase it, I had the money to erase it, I would. But he said, yeah, your, your writing on your neck is a little above your collar. And at that time, they weren't letting people in with that. Man, look, that was the best decision that Yahweh has made for one of the best decisions. I'm just thankful, man. He, he put me in, in Yahweh by Shema Shai's army. Ezekiel 37, a great exceeding army. All right. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children. Say if Yahweh that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, man. Instead of adding righteousness to the sin that we have, they add sin, more murder to it, or they become Christians, they add more folly and, and uh, uh, idol worship to it. You go on and on. They, or they become gangsters and thugs, and they become murderers and drug dealer witches and, and physical adulterers and idol worshipers but they join this army and they become idol worshipers Christians whatever you want to call it murderers thieves alright so they take a covering of America see that let's get that um, let's get that that covering All right, so Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children. See, that rebellious children again. That word woe means sorrow. See, um, that sorrow. All right. Uh, that's them torments that our people bring upon themselves. Woe to the rebellious children. That's Israel. All right, Jake's. See, if Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit that may add sin, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth, man. See that they take counsel, but not of the Lord. Um, when clearly Ezekiel 37, the Lord is building his army by the prophets that stand on the streets and teach. All right. So you ask them, what's going on? What should I do? Which way? Let's get that. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 30 and 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left, man. See, matter of fact, let me get one more. All right, so the men of the Lord are going to um, 
tell the to tell the Israelites which way they should go. The right way. Right? Say what? Seek the old paths. Isaiah 30 and 2 again. That walked down to Egypt for help. All right. And this is what our people were doing during the times of Isaiah. During the times of Babylon. You know. <clears throat> they were going back into Egypt. During the times of the uh, what, what, the Battle of Carchemish, 605 BC. All right, um, right. So um, now it says what they go down to Egypt for help, man, and the Lord was telling us to get our minds out of Egypt. It says, and have not asked at my mouth. So they, they have they have not gone to the prophets to see what they should do. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. They want to strengthen their money. They want to get a degree. When they wind up not even getting that degree, they wind up going to war. They want to strengthen their authority. You know, become an authoritative figure. All right. So to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And today, Pharaoh is Esau. So they strengthen themselves in Esau's strength, which is the, the, uh, the sword, destruction. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. See that? So our people take that covering over them, and they trust in that shadow protection of America. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Look at that. So everything that makes America powerful is going to be the shame of its citizens and the people that want to uh, be a part of this place that stand up for it. Now the soldiers, soldiers are getting pointed at as occupiers over there in the Middle East, as enemies over there in Russia, China, North Korea. They're looking at the shame of these soldiers, man, because of the, uh, America's leaders. All right. Therefore, so the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, because the strength of America is, is diminishing. The weak are saying they're strong, and this place is becoming weakened. All right. The Lord said, "Get thee into the darkness, into dust." Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. So the strength of Esau is going to be Jake's uh, shame, and this trust. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt shall be your confusion. Trusting in this place. That's why they sit out there and they're confused. They say, what homeless veteran, man? That, sh that shouldn't be. They, they should be taking care of the uh, soldiers. Not when they did, but while they're alive. They do all this memorial. Well, Memorial Day, they should go around and give all the homeless veterans places to live and, and uh, free medical. They're not going to do that. Instead, they're going to have you sitting in a, around a grave crying, singing every year. And Jake out here, uh, the women shaking their behind. What are they honoring? What are they honoring? See that? Now they turned to a freak nick. So, now it's, so, um, so that's, that's what's confusion. Another word for confusion is what? Babel. Babylon so they, go, they become a part of this place they become part of the confusion they become um, de deceived by the confusion alright so they have so much and bring in little man nothing uh, let me get that John 8 and 44 ye are of your father the devil so anybody that soldiers in these armies they're of their authority, the deceiver, the devil, Esau. And the lust of your authority or your father, ye will do. All right, so our lust, our desire is to serve Yahweh by Hashem El Shai on the right hand side, righteousness. But theirs is to serve their own belly, which leads them to being deceived and ashamed. He was a murderer from the beginning. So they're doing the lust of their, mur their murderous authority, Esau. Esau put that sword into their hand. 
and tell them to go kill with it. And they don't even know why they're doing it. You watch all these war movies, they be confused. And a lot of these soldiers, they feel bad about what they did and they can't take it back. They went over there and killed a lot of people. For Bush. <laughs> For Trump. <laughs> Look at that, man. For Obama. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. He is a liar and the father of it, man. So anybody that believes in those lies, that stand for the lies of this place, America, um, they're of their authority, the devil. All right. So, um, let me get that. It says here, Proverbs 3 and 31, Envy thou not the oppressor. See, they're the ones that pressed us, oppressed us. But then you had Jake in the 70s and the 80s uh, trying to get free from um, uh, discrimination and slavery. So they said, I'm going to join the army. And they wanted to fight in the military. The Buffalo soldiers and all that. That's what really started it off. And uh, what was the other movie? Uh, Tail, Red Tails. Jake's flying in the planes, winning with the Air Force. Uh, you know, Jake helped uh, Esau win their wars. All right. But the Lord says, What? To envy thou not the oppressor. We got our own army, we have our own memorial to stand for. And choose none of his ways, man. Don't, don't don't join that army. That's one of Esau's ways. Remember that? Be all you can be in the army. Shit. The Lord told us this. It says, um, Woe, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and, and stay on the horses, man. All right, not just the citizens looking for help from this place and getting, uh, you know what, during the lockdowns and the MOTB that's coming, but also going down to e to America and signing up for their army because they got military tanks and, you know, you get some type of ranking and all that. And stay on horses and trust in chariot. They trust in their weapons and their military all right, because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong that's like Goliath's army that's like Goliath's army trusting in the Philistines army because they are strong and many but look what David did with that one stone all right because they are many so the Lord don't care about that he, he made America great it's not going to make it great again but the Most High made America great, so he can, so he can show his power in destroying Pharaoh or Esau. You know this 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 beast. So it's gonna be easy to tame the beast, man. For the Lord, He raised it up, made it many and strong, mighty and strong. Now the Lord has raised up these other nations to be even mightier and stronger, showing the Lord's power and wisdom. Because, all right, so um, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and the horsemen, the soldiers, because they are very strong, because they're the military and might, you know, soldiers. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. It's crazy, man, right? Um, where was that? Now, they look not to the Holy One of Israel because the Lord is building his army, Ezekiel 37. All right, great exceeding army standing upon their feet in righteousness, prophets. Our weapons is uh, warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. That's what we're here to do. Tear down the strongholds of the, of the mind. But they going around the world tearing around tearing down strongholds of the nations. <laughs> B 
doing some perverted and demonic shit too over there. All right. Um, I got so many scriptures I want to go through, Yahweh know, Ratazah, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up there because uh, let's get this real quick. Right, they trust in the, they trust in the shadow of Egypt. That's what they're doing. But the Lord told us this. Uh, it says here, Jeremiah Jeremiah fifty one and seven. Be, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. So the nations were were boasting and prideful uh, um, in, in America's wealth and strength as well, just like the rebellious children are. All right, that trusted in the shadow of Egypt of America, so they became mad. But now. Um, the Lord has made America a gazing stock and cast abominable filth upon her so that they may look at this place and say, oh, I ain't dealing with that. I ain't helping her. As a matter of fact, let's destroy it. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. See that? The strength of Egypt is going to be their shame. This place is fallen and destroyed and it's not going to help its veterans completely. Its soldiers. It's not going to... It, meaning its leaders especially with Esau, they're not going to uh, compensate you for your sacrifice. They're not going to sacrifice for you the way you would sacrifice for this country. I fought for my country. I lost my arm and my leg. But well, they're not going to give you an arm and a leg, and arm and a leg in return. All right. Um, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her. If so, be she may be healed. So this place can't be healed. So the people can try to fight for it, do whatever, but it won't be healed. All right. We would have healed Babylon with, uh, what do you call it, quantitative easing, trying to heal this place. So all the nations like, nah, this place, they, they join the bricks now. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the, star, to the skies. Yahweh have brought forth our righteousness, talking about the elect, the hopeful elect, our army, and let us declare, come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh, our power, man. So that's what we're supposed to be doing as, as good soldiers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh spiritual soldiers. People that have given their life for this army have given it in vain, man. Because ultimately, this place is going to be destroyed. All right. It says, make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. That's missile, the missile defense shields getting prepared for war. Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. All right. Um, for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. So ultimately they're going to be fighting against Russia, all these nations if you join the army. All right. Um, that's right. Set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes for Yahweh have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. That's why it's also known as Nineveh. Nineveh was uh, dwelt upon uh, many waters. I'm going to go into that too, Yahweh Rajas are today. Uh, abundant in treasures, thine end is come in the measure of thy covetousness. All that. See, Yahweh armies, of the heavenly armies, have sworn by himself, saying this Surely I will fill thee with men. As we, all right, so, so I got to the point. So the measure of thy covetousness, the measure of thy greed, uh, through through robbing, stealing, and killing, the Lord has appointed their bounds that they cannot pass. So this place is losing its power in the earth, especially with those interest rates being risen up. All right. 
So the fight for what army? Yeah, you're getting a degree. Um, but, you know, people are selling their soul for their degree. They're being involved in robbing, stealing, and killing for a degree. It's not worth it for a house and a car and they come home, most of the men come home, their wives cheating on them anyway. All right, but they trust in the shadow of Egypt. But the Lord told us this. Um, this is what I wanted. All right, uh, verse six, Jeremiah 51 and six, flee out of the midst of Babylon Deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, man. For this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render her a recompense. So we're supposed to come out of this place mentally. We're not supposed to be signing contracts to join more into the, uh, you know, the depths of the belly of the beast. We're not supposed to be signing. Um, up for their armies and shit like that to fight in their wars alright the Lord said that, um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal it's Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8 because of unrighteous dealings see it's not unrighteous that they're doing when they send soldiers over there the CIA or whatever they're not doing nothing righteous because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, see that, injuries, man, basically war, killing, you know, injuries, that means what, criminal acts, when somebody's hurt in an act, or something, you steal something or hurt somebody, that's a crime, that's criminal acts, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, Watch all those old military movies and see what them soldiers was doing over there in the Middle East, in Vietnam. Taking the wealth of these places. Gotten by deceit, man. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right, so how did America get its power seat and get the king, this, America, uh, this earth, dominance over the earth? Uh to uh, bloodshed otherwise known as the bloody city alright so it's nothing to be proud of uh, let me see something real quick alright Joel 2 and 20 it says here um, it says Joel 2 and 20 but I will remove far off from you the northern army the northern army is the same ones that came against Gad, the Gadites, the North American Indians. It says, Gad, a troop shall overtake thee. All right. And now, um, Joel 2 and 20. Watch that movie um, on Wounded Knee with the Gadites, where it showed they, they were slaughtered by the American army and they were taken uh, captive on Wounded Knee. They were slaughtered. And a lot of those Gadites, those Native Americans, they started giving in. And they get a badge. And they be like, look, he made me deputy. <laughs> yeah, so that's when the change, the shift in the, in the way of thinking uh, happened. That, uh, I forget, I always forget what it's called, man. Uh, when somebody don't want to get away if they're a slave. I always forget it. I think we begin with a, a, a letter B. All right, so anyway, Joel 2 and 20. It says, but I will remove far off from you the northern army. See, that same northern army, they're getting sent over there to the what they call the Middle East and over there to Ukraine. All right, so the army is supposed to be made to protect home. But instead, the Lord is showing us here that America is that hammer of the earth. Got their hidden hand and everything around the world. And they're being used by the Europe. But I will remove far off from you the northern army 
and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. Was that Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, during desert storm, or desert, desolate? With his face toward the East Sea, and that would be like the Black Sea, Caspian Sea, um, uh, towards the Persian Gulf direction, which would be towards Iran and Russia. So it shows you the intent of the Northern Army, of America's Army. It's to go to World War Three ultimately. And his hinder part towards the utmost sea, and that's talking about the, uh, what is it, the, the, I think it's the Red Sea. All right. Uh, where was that? And his stink shall come up, man, and his ill savor shall come up. Because he has done great things, man. A lot of murder and dead bodies over there. So, they, what did you do, Johnny? Uh, I did this. Look, if you know, but dead bodies. <laughs> Isn't it great? Nah, man. You you murdered everybody. You murderers. They come back and get praised for that. All right. So, um. Let me get this real quick. This is Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. See, this place was built of bloodshed. So, woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. All right, Yahweh is building us with his own blood. He gave a sacrifice for us. That's the, that's the true memorial. He's building us right now through the spirit. All right. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and that established a city by iniquity, man, through wickedness. That's why this is the mother of harlots. It produces nothing but idolater, idolatry, idol worship, you know? So this place is established through iniquity through sin, through wickedness. It's crazy, man, through bloodshed. Behold, is it not of Yahweh of hosts that the people shall labor labor in the very fire? It's the Most High that created humans to have to labor and deal with fire to produce heat. It's the Most High that created these armies or America or Esau to have to kill with the sword to get their riches. All right? Behold, is it not of Yahweh of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall weary themselves for vanity? All right. See, the Most High showing them that you're not listening to him if you join these armies and you're wearying yourself, causing yourself all these sorrows for vanity, for vanity, man. All right. These militaries and all that. College degrees. Well, you can get a degree, you know, handle your business out here. But I'm talking about somebody got time for that, man. It's better to be in this truth. Becoming church pastors so they can get money. Joining the military so they can get money. But they're wearying themselves for very for vanity. Because at the end of the day, it says this: For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh. As the waters cover the sea. Look at that. At the end of the day, the Lord is bringing his kingdom here. They fighting for all this, for this, for Esau's kingdom when it's going to be destroyed. The scriptures say they shall build, but Yahweh shall throw it down. All right. So in the soldiers, American soldiers, they, they play as the hand for Esau, the devil's hand. Regardless of if they call themselves God fearing or Christians or whatever, they trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, uh, where was, let me get this. Psalms 135 and 13. Thy name, O Yahweh, endure forever, and thy memorial, O Yahweh, throughout all generations. All right, so that's our true memorial is Yahweh. 
And he sacrificed his own son for us to be f truly free in the end. All right, so that memorial shall endure throughout all generations. That's the memorial he gave to Moses and what he did for us in Egypt, delivering us out of Egypt. That's a memorial, you know? Yahweh Shai is our memorial. There you go. John 15 and 13, greater love have no man than this. They say, uh, these people that went overseas and they stink shall come up because they have done great things. Well, this is the greatest thing a man could do. And we gave our lives for our country. Well, the Lord gave his life for his countrymen. So we got to realize that this is not our rest. The Lord says, Ar arise and depart. This is not your rest. This is not it. Our kingdom is coming. Our king is coming as well. John 15, 13. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So Yahweh Shai laid down his life for us, 37 AD. All right. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. That's right, man. Just like these soldiers, they don't know what the hell the president and their, their conspirators are doing. These Illuminati Masons and shit, meeting in secret, pushing their New World Order agenda, satanic agenda. It says, uh, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, brothers, man. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known to you. All right. Um, let me get that real quick. Second Timothy 2 and uh, 2. No, 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness. So like, let me go to 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai, man. So be strong in that. Be all that you can be in Yahweh Shai. <laughs> and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also, soldiers that's going to go out there and teach others also. Veterans become veterans in this truth. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, man, affairs of America. We are the end of battle. We have our own battle to fight. Spiritual battle. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a good, to be a soldier, man. All right. And that's what the Lord said. You have not, we have not chosen him, but he has chosen us to be what? Good soldiers in his truth. Okay. So, uh, let me see. This is right here, see, and the, and the Lord's veterans are going to be taken care of. We're going to receive crowns someday and eternal life. That's going to be our payout, the reward. John 14 and um, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, right? Because when they sign you up for the army, they all peace become a peace officer, and they taking care of you and all that. And yeah, you good soldier, come on in, man. And then they just blah, 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 yelling in your damn ear and shit. And then they try to calm you down. They act like they taking care of you and you can get a pension. 
because you don't know the dollar about the crash and they're taking away the pensions 401k all right so the lord said he gave us peace but not as the world gives man to give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid all right so yeah man our king yahweh shai he gave his life for us there's nothing greater than that the wisdom of solomon 8 and 13 moreover by the means of her to my wisdom i shall obtain immortality and this is what yahweh shai did he was also solomon in the ancient times and he has attained to immortality in the flesh and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. Look at that. So he, he left me. Yahweh Shai has left, just like King Solomon did, but Yahweh Shai has left an everlasting memorial for us that come that came after him. And what what is he gonna do when he shows up? They're actually doing that now. I shall set the people in order. And the nations shall be subject unto them. All right, and this is coming. You want a ranking or an order? Well, this is the order of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. That's the true memorial, the everlasting memorial. All right, um, go ahead. It says here, uh, actually, no, I want that one. So I can. Let me get this. All right, uh, here you go. All right, I'm going to end it with this one. Uh, Sirach 24 and 19. Come unto me, to unto Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, all ye that be desirous of me, and fill yourselves with my fruit. So we put be filled with wisdom, that same wisdom that will have us take part in that memorial that Yahweh Shai left behind. All right. For my memorial is sweeter than honey. And my inheritance than the honeycomb. I mean, it's going to continue. The, the inheritance is going to be continued, just like the dropping with the dropping and supply of a honeycomb with the sweetness of honey. That's what's waiting for the elect inheritance. So not just sweeter than a drop of honey. The memorial is that's the that's the taste of the kingdom. But the kingdom is going to be like getting to the honeycomb going to increase more and more all right they that eat me shall yet be hungry you're not going to be hungry and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty he that obeyeth me shall never be confounded man see you join this man's army you're going to be confounded at the end of the day and they that work by me shall not do amiss see if you work by the wisdom, by Yahweh, by Shema, with Shai, and truth, and spirit of righteousness, you should not go off and doing iniquity in the world. So Esau will send you off and become a murderer, or a thief, taking resources from around the world. All right? Um, that's right, verse 24. Faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you. Cleave unto him. Are you cleave unto him? Cleaving unto his men. Cleaving unto the truth. And join his army. For the Lord Almighty is gone, is, is, is Yahweh alone, is the power, only power. And beside him, there is no other savior. All right. So he's used to call America the savior of the, of the world. But really, America is nothing but this. You already know. It's not the savior of the world. No. Yahweh by Shema is the only savior, the only true power. Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. That's what's coming here. 
battle and destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations, man? All right. So, all right. So, um, that's it, man. Let's go to 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. So the Lord has called all these armies around the world against this place, man, and against his soldiers. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. That's the BRICS nations. They all targeting their ICBMs towards America now. Let none therefore escape. Recompense her according to her work, man. What has America done around the world? Nothing but rob, steal, and kill. Cause destruction. So that's what's coming to this place. According to all that she have done, do unto her, for she have been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. I'm going to say that one for later. I need that one for the word pride, proud. All right. So, so America has been proud against Yahweh. All right. So therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. And all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith Yahweh. With that, I'm going to end it, man. So, um, trust not in the shadow of Egypt, because it's going to lead you to nothing but darkness um, and destruction, idolatry, and ultimately I have you going against uh, Yahweh. All right, and Yahweh will be against you. So, look, all you see on the streets, man, you ask them, these homeless people, they say, yeah, I was, a, I was a veteran. What happened to you, man? I got strung out on drugs. I ain't have no medical. I ain't have this. I came back. My wife was cheating on something. You know? But those that do the will of your Ba'ashim HaOshad, that's joining his army, his, his great exceeding army, we, we um... Get that. The Lord said he's not like America. He's not like Esau, man. All right. He gives us peace that uh, he's not going to take away like Esau did. Or give you, he'll give you shit covered in sugar. That's what Esau do. Um, which one do I want? All right, let's get that. Uh, Revelation 21 and 5. Yep. Revelation 21 and um, 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. So he's going to bring his army to the earth. And he will dwell with them. Our general, our leader, Yahweh Shai. We're going to have Yahweh with us too. And they shall be his people, his army, and his people. And Yahweh himself shall be with them, and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. He's going to make us righteous army. All right, never die. We never die again. And there shall be no more death. See, Esau can't promise you that in his army. They say, we're going to give you the MOTB. Or they're going to do you like Hitler and give you some damn... Uh, drugs but on the victory <laughs> uh, neither shall there be sorrow man that's sorrow fighting for an army and then coming back and all they got to hand you is um, drugs lack of housing poor housing right they give you their back instead of their face. I mean, they turn their back on these people. And they give you a damn cardboard to, that you can write on. And cigarettes. <laughs> That's America, man. You got some soldiers soldiers that get into the military and they, they're well off, you know. But that's not for the, the majority, majority percentage of the soldiers. All right, it always ends bad. 
It says, nor crying, we're not going to have any reason to cry out in the kingdom, in Yahweh Shai's army. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, man. All the wars are passed away. We're not going to see that anymore. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. All right. So that's Yahweh Shai, man. He said he is the Alpha and Omega. And the Most High gave him all judgment and power over the angels and over wisdom to, to give to us freely. He that overcometh. So if you believe in Yahweh Shai, he said you have overcome already. But we still have a battle. We still have a race to win. A destination point. So that's that's the overcoming the MOTB as well. Revelation 13, 16. If we conquer that, he that overcometh and continue teaching as well. And staying righteous as best as you can. Shall inherit all things, man. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Not just soldiers, but we're gonna be Yahweh's children. Making us gods as well. But the fearful. So like I think that was the point. Oh so like. But the fearful and unbelieving. And the abominable. So a lot of Jakes that be in these armies. They don't believe in Yahweh. That Jesus. Christos doctrine got him in the armies. The military. But the fearful and unbelieving. And the abominable and murderers, man. That's what they are, murderers. Nah, I was fighting for my country. I was giving orders. Nah, you don't want to pull the trigger, though. Or press the button. Whoremongers. A lot of these entertainers are whoremongers. And sorcerers. A lot of these uh, religious leaders, pagan jakes, sorcerers and drug dealers, sorcerers. People like Nate of IUIC with the damn waving damn pendulums in your goddamn face with his hands throwing up all kind of shit made you look type shit sorcerers and idolaters man idol worshippers and all liars false doctrine is a lie too they shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death man that's what this is about the judgment day of Yahweh, the first death which was with the flood and the second death was going to be with fire world war three all right if they're fighting in america's army murdering and all that they, they're going to be destroyed here in the in the wrath of Yahweh, all right in the lake of fire and the lake of fire represents america so i'm gonna end it there and um right might well keep going a little bit and there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying come hither I will show thee the bride the lamb's wife and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city the holy Jerusalem the city of peace descending out of heaven from Yahweh having the glory of Yahweh and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone clear as crystal we're going to have clear pure wisdom and understanding alright that's what the Lord is promising his army let's get that real quick it says it had a great and high uh, in the, and had a wall great and high so the defense of our city is going to be through the soldiers are going to be uh, great and exalted mighty men and her um, where was that okay and had 12 gates and at the gate 12 angels and the names written thereon and which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel so who's going to make it through these 12 gates to the Lord's army the 12 tribes of Israel starting with the elect alright um, let's get that real fast
defense. Uh, Isaiah 60 and 17. For brass, I will bring gold. And for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. These are things we're going to have. And we're not going to have to um, rob, steal, and kill for it. Because it belongs to the creator, Yahweh, And his son, Yahweh Shai. He gave them to us. So for brass, he's going to bring gold. So instead of building our homes and things with brass, we're going to use gold, which is heavy and pure. And for iron, I will bring silver. And for, so I, you know, for wood, brass. For stones, iron. And I will also make thy officers peace. We're going to be the peace officers, the police, the army. And thine exactors righteousness man at taxes so we're going to be the exactors that go around and collect everything from from these nations but it's going to be through righteousness all right let's get that uh this is ezekiel 37 to 10 amanda here so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army and that's what we want to be a part of that exceeding great army around the world that the Lord is establishing uh, upon this earth before he arrives and extracts his army and, and gives them their orders in the heavens and send them back down to the earth to conquer with that I'm going to say uh, Shalom I hope this is edifying and um, yeah man this is that Memorial Day, all you see is just another freak, Nick. Wickedness out here. People shaking their ass. The pool's all dirty. Bottles and shit. Fights, shootouts. There's nothing good about it. The soldiers, they're honoring the dead more than they're honoring the living, the living soldiers on, on their own soil. That's with the migrants. They're leaving the veterans out there, and the migrants get big, giant white buses and places to live for free. And money. It's crazy, man. But the veterans get a kick in the ass, you know. Matter of fact, uh, it's a rock. Twelve and thirteen. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent? How can you pity him? The choices they made, man. What were they over there doing? Robbing, stealing, and killing. Yeah, yeah, you seen them in the old movies with machine guns, with, like one like Rambo, First Blood, from the Bloody City. Oh, what well, the Lord said that man, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beast? All right, so we can't really pity him. It's the choices they made. With that, we're gonna say uh, Shalom.